Hello, my name is Stephen Fibbin and welcome to my critical community asset mapping of Eisenhower Middle School. Eisenhower Middle School is located off of Loop 410 and Blanco Road, just down the street from North Star Mall. We are one of 14 zones throughout the district and our zone reaches from Loop 410 all the way to Loop 1604. Here's an overview of what the real estate looks like in a nearby community of Eisenhower Middle School. Eisenhower is located in a community that has an average income of, of about $42,000. However, the zoning for our school does cover communities with average household incomes of $100,000 and up. Here we have the demographics that make up the student body at Eisenhower. We are a heavy Hispanic community with 70.5% of our students being Hispanic, followed by 17.5% of our students being white, 7.1% of our students being African American, 2.4% of our students being two or more races, 2.3% of our students being Asian, and lastly, 0.2% being American Indian. Here we have some risk factors for our students at Eisenhower. 56.3% of our students are considered at risk of dropping out, which is a little concerning considering that number is way above the district average of only 45.1%. 61.8% of our students are economically disadvantaged, and 20% of our students have limited English proficiency. We do have a higher bilingual and ESL percentage of students at our school, with that percentage being at 21.2%, as well as 12.3% of our students receiving special education services. Some great school assets include a competition gymnasium that was built only a few years ago, as well as a new robotics lab filled with awesome equipment such as a flight simulator and a 3D printer. And we also have a plethora of teachers with lots of experience under the belt. We do average 11.2% of years of teaching experience from our teachers. Another asset is our school PTA. Um, not only do they continuously provide for our educators, but they're always say, um, staying in the mix with our community. They do a really good job of working with our parents and then also coming together with those parents if they do need community service hours. Um, they just do a really good job of bringing everybody together. And we also have three educators on campus who are PTA Lifetime Award winners. This is awesome for them. Some community assets include many nearby grocery stores as well as markets that can provide healthy meals for our families of our community. We also have three parks all located within 10 minutes driving distance of our school. This is actually really awesome to have so our families of our community can branch out and enjoy those times with their friends and stay healthy, stay active. With those parks, there are also some pretty cool hiking trails close by that are open to the public. According to the parks and open space map on our right, our school is located right at the cusp between parks and open space and the city of San Antonio area. Some critical analysis of uh, food options nearby, near from our school, they do include a strip of fast food restaurants that are all within walking distance from Eisenhower. Although fast food can be quick and convenient, it is not a healthy choice for our students and the members of our community. Another critical analysis of our nearby community is the value of homes compared to the average household income. Real estate value of homes prevents a lot of families from purchasing homes within the community, resorting our families to renting and never really owning homes. Uh, my final critical analysis of our school is definitely going to be the layout. Um, we are located right off of a major road. So with that being said, there's always that risk of our students crossing the streets and getting to school safely. And it was only six years ago that one of our students was actually struck and killed by a driver. And honestly, since then, um, I, I sit in our classrooms every single day. And that, even today was an early release day. And for instance, it was a half day. So it was going to be a little bit busier during lunchtime. And the only real improvement that we had was just giving our kids the heads up that, hey, get home safely, get home as fast as you can. Um, with that being said, this was my presentation. I do thank you for your time and please leave a comment. Thank you.